Okay, we're coming into the Derek Rogers, and there's a BPI turntable, and I think we know some of the players in this room. Boy, we sure do. <laughs> there's Matt Weissfield from BPI. Hey, Peter. There's Charles. Greetings. There's Mr. Lawrence. How are hey, you? How are you? Uh, why don't you show us what we have here at CES this year? Absolutely. Well, Derek, for those of you that don't know us, we've been manufacturing uh, tube amplification equipment since the late 90s. We were the first in the mid-2000s to create, in all of our tube products, a USB DAC interface. Uh, still today, many of the tube manufacturers in their amps don't even provide that. Here at the show, we're very excited to release our new single-ended triode SET KT150 tube oh, I like amplifer. That idea. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 25 watt uh, per channel amplifier with a built-in USB DAC, uh, and this tube absolutely is outstanding. Uh, this is a $3,000 list product. Uh, one of the larger audio names have come out with a KT150 that they're selling at 15,000. This is very, very affordable, mm -hmm. uh, and the KT-150's characteristics are very unique because of the larger glass envelope. What we also have is 70 watts of cooling power inside, mm -hmm. uh, so that increases also the fast response that we have on the current coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, this actually is also connected to our newly released and available uh, MMMC Phono Tube amplifier or pre-amplifier that's being fed into our line input here. What's the gain on the phono unit? Uh, the gain on this one is 10. I'm oh, sorry, 60. 60? Yep, 60 and what's unique also is unless many have uh, in the standards you know they have their dip switches on the bottom here I'm able to change cartridges or just change the sound by adjusting both the capacitance, the inductance and the output mm -hmm. uh, which really is nice and that's a $1900 list product. Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously here we have the VPI Classic 1 mm -hmm. being fed by an Ortofon black cartridge mm -hmm. uh, to our either our LS59 Rogers speakers. These are the 65 uh, anniversary speakers and uh, we've been very proud to uh, receive this for the show where Absolute Sound has said that uh, the Rogers LS35As uh, are considered one of the 12 most significant loudspeakers of all our time and we're introducing these to North America. Uh, we've been selling them since the time we bought John Rogers company worldwide. Mm -hmm. Very exciting and what's nice is this is a very balanced system with the turntable, the arm, very nice and even. So for you know ten or twelve thousand dollars as a complete setup with cartridge and turntable the sound is relaxing well, and that's walked, the problem today. It is. When we walked in the room Mike it just, it just felt like music was washing over me. It, 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 you know everyone's striving you know it's taken these are 65 years 65 year anniversary it took 12 years development here we see many of the manufacturers come out with technical speakers every three months a brand new model for a dealer how can you create that it's all the technology driven this is made for someone to just listen to the music all day. One of the things is purity of sound and digital signal processing unfortunately you can have the most expensive digital playback unit. We've created a passive device that you hear and feel the music after you've inserted this out of your CD or SACD device. It's a passive device. It'll go from your CD out into your uh, input of your preamp. Uh, and it cleans up the sound tremendously. What a difference. Very affordable. It's like a $350 accessory. Well, that sounds exciting. You'll probably have to send one over to one of our reviewers this year, okay? Absolutely. More okay. than welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Charles? Very good.
Sounds beautiful. The singer and, and now the saxophone is right in the room with us. Fantastic on the VPI, Darren and the Rogers. Oh, 